Doctors Without Borders is calling for the urgent establishment of what it calls safe pathways to enable refugees and economic migrants to reach the European Union. The humanitarian organization fears that thousands will continue to drown in the Mediterranean now that Doctors Without Borders is decommissioning the last rescue ship, the Aquarius, because of what the group says is untenable political pressure. Special correspondent Malcolm Brabant spent time on board in 2016. Now he looks at the legacy of a ship with a unique spirit. Swing it out! Swing it out! The Aquarius has saved around 30,000 lives over the last three years. People that without that dedicated search and rescue capability on the Mediterranean Sea would otherwise have died as they undertook that perilous journey. The head of Doctors Without Borders in the UK, Vicky Hawkins, is angry at those who've engineered the end of the ship's humanitarian mission. Our decision comes on the back of a year and a half of essentially a concerted campaign to force us to stop. We have been obstructed, we've been criminalised, the vessel has been stripped of its flag twice, and we've been shot at and harassed by the Libyan Coast Guard. So today there is no dedicated search and rescue capability left in the Mediterranean. Which will delight the ultra-right-wing Generation Identity Movement. Every week, every day, every hour, ships packed with illegal immigrants are flooding the European border. An invasion is taking place. This massive immigration is changing the face of our continent. We're losing our safety, our way of life, and we will become a minority in our own country. Our future is under attack. And this is perhaps the greatest architect of the Aquarius's demise, Italy's right-wing Deputy Prime Minister Matteo Salvini. Italy has welcomed over 700,000 immigrants who have disembarked in the last few years. But that's enough now. Our ports are closed. Italy cannot continue to be the refugee camp of Europe. There's a reason why all throughout Sicily there are cities that have Greek names. People have been making this passage for thousands of years. New York doctor Craig Spencer spent several months on board the Aquarius in 2017. The idea that migrant hordes or, you know, waves of refugees are coming to destroy Europe or destroy our, our countries is, as I think, really just a diversion from concentrating on what's really needed, and that is durable, sustainable, long-term solutions. The polar opposite to what you're saying is that you and your colleagues are contributing to the ultimate demise of Europe because the demographics are such that within decades, Europe is going to be overtaken by people coming from North Africa and elsewhere. Yeah. It's, it's interesting because that's a complaint that we often hear. We want to allow unfettered migration. We want let, to let all of Africa into Europe, and that's not the case. And we came together as a global community and said, these are things that we think are important as human rights and human values. And just because these people are coming from a different place and may speak a different language or have a different skin color, doesn't mean that their situation can be any different. In the summer of 2016, I spent three weeks aboard the Aquarius for the news hour as it patrolled off the Libyan coast. It was the height of the migrant and refugee crisis in the Middle East and North Africa, and the number of people desperately trying to reach Europe was skyrocketing. International relief agencies say they're extremely concerned about the major upswing in the number of children who are making this most perilous of journeys. The voyage between Turkey and Greece is bad enough, but this one is many, many, many times worse. They may have frequently encountered death, but they also welcomed new life as well. Hey, who is there? It's new man. My new Bombi. <laughs> and why did you call him new man? I call him new man because he's a new man to me, he's a new man to God, and he's a very lucky boy. The baby was delivered by midwife John Quill Nickel. So many, many women were travelling pregnant, and uh, it's very, it's inconceivable to think about what that journey was like for these women. But they have no option. You know, once they're on this journey from their homes, wherever they are, um, whether it's sub-Saharan Africa, or West Africa, East Africa, they are, they have to go. They can't, don't have the choice. Newman is now with his parents in southern Italy, but to their distress, he doesn't yet have a national identity. 
Without exception, Aquarius crew members like Nickel reject suggestions that the ship provided a taxi service for migrants between Africa and Italy. There's a reason that they left, and I think we can't belittle that reason. That reason is often really fundamental. It's either because they're in danger of their lives, or they have no prospects, or they have no prospects for their children. We had many women who were leaving because they knew if they stayed, they would undergo female genital mutilation, or their daughters would. And so they were, they were traveling. They needed to leave their countries. And to put up walls and to force them back to the countries they came from is, is outrageous. And it's, you know, it's not humanitarian at all. We are all humans. We should be treating other people as humans. What we need is safe and legal pathways that enable people to move, whether they are fleeing violence and, and conflict, or whether they are looking to legally migrate. This is a global phenomenon that is going to be with us for decades to come. And the only way through is to look at how we can have humane, global migration policies that allow people to move in a managed and safe fashion. We're going to throw this flower in the water out of respect for the people that died in the boat. Dutchman ferry skippers ran the humanitarian operation on board. Aquarius has become a symbol of humanitarian aid. The Aquarius gave back those people the dignity they deserve. The journey was very hard to us, all of us. The journey was very hard to us. But thank God we have reached in Italy. Yeah. Thank to all of you people. Because you are the people who save our lives. The Aquarius is special. And I sincerely hope that other ships will start, go there, and just be there for these people. Doctors Without Borders says it may charter other rescue ships in the future, but not this one. The age of Aquarius is over. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Malcolm Brabant.